So, just woke up. It's just right before 5 in the morning on Tuesday, the 20th. The 20th, yeah, because the 18th of the Nations League final. That date's going to be burned into my brain. But about to start getting ready to walk out the door, get dressed, whatever else needs to be done. Nothing really on my part, but I will get dressed and start getting ready to get going. So, yep. It, it's early. I know the light isn't great here, but all I gotta do is put up my charger once this is done. And, yeah. We'll be close that up. Be on, on my way, at least. Also get dressed, but you get my point. So, yeah. Happy Tuesday. Ready to go. We'll have some fun. Should be a good day. Sit tight. Talk to you later. So, we're about ready to step out. Pretty much done everything. Cars loaded. Backpacks finished. All I had to do was put my charger in there. Do my glass cleaner once. But other than that, TFC shirt. Normal Canada hat. Black jorts. Red socks. And the red and gray Nikes. A little bit of a fit check there. But, yeah, Canada aren't champions, so why would I wear the gold hat? We could do that if they win the gold cup. Or if they make the final. But I don't deserve to wear the gold hat after what they pulled. So, the normal old Canada hat. But there you go. I'd change it anyway, probably. So, with that being said, we're about to walk out. Probably stop at a gas station pretty soon to pick some up to drink. And then... We'll really be on our way. So. Rocky Top, here we come. Seaverville. Knoxville. Whatever you want to call it. Smoky Mountains. We're on our way. Should be a fun time. And I'm still not really completely vacationing because I still got stuff to do. But you know what? That's Them's the breaks when CONCACAF puts everything next to each other. So. Wouldn't want to have it any other way. Talk to you soon. So. It's 6.07 a.m. Just stopped in the little Nashville, Illinois. St truck stop, world famous, I guess. Got a code red. Take and we're on our way. Illinois 127 North. And, yeah. Seven hours, 15 minutes. Probably more, but... Should be a long, good, nice drive. And I'll keep updating. Talk to you later. Just crossed into Kentucky, close to Paducah. Five some hours left. Just Take got a right Pepsi Carol Cherry. Road. And left onto Road. stopped at a pilot. No heater meals there. No Tom's chips, but still got a Pepsi Cherry. And we're in Kentucky now. We got out Turn of Illinois. Road. Five hours, Carol 32. Road. Right onto the I East ramp. And... Yeah, I can't wait to see how the rest of this turns out. Smooth sailing for about two some hours there, and we're making our way down. So, with that being said, I'll talk to y'all later in Kentucky. We'll be on our way to Tennessee. See ya. So, finally in Tennessee, four hours, 14 minutes to go, close to Clarksville. Tennessee just went to the gas station there as well and that drinks tray is moving but got a coke and we're on our way halfway through pretty much and it'll be an eastern time pretty probably closer to where it is but probably like the last hour but Still in central time, 9.45 before 12 to go. Talk to you soon. Maybe I'll do landscape, who knows? I don't know. See ya. So we just hit Nashville, just past Nissan Stadium. Three hours and 26 minutes left. It really would take that long to get to Knoxville, but it is 10.27 p.m. or 10.27 a.m. central. Should be interesting how to get through a little bit foggy just rained recently but yeah we're going through Nashville right now
So, just left Wendy's, ate lunch. It's about two and a half hours left. I think somewhere past Nashville, but before Knoxville. Two hours, 21. We just left Bucky's, got a Coke vanilla. And I can tell you one thing, Bucky's is not worth the hassle. I can tell you that much. And just imagine how much worse it would have been had it been in Texas. And I feel like a uh, footballer who just got drenched because it's raining like a freaking mug out there. So yeah, under about 145 left, two hours, but we're getting there and hopefully by the time we get there, it slides up. So, yeah, I feel like a drenched footballer, but at least it's an authentic kit, so it's bound to get wet and wick away. Team. So there you go. Talk to you later. So, I'm at the cabin, I'm at the cottage, got a nice room, two beds, even though I only need one, nice little bathroom here. My own bathroom, half bath, just drop that there. And by the way, got the fire stick in there, so we'll be able to do gold cup prelims by the time you see this. Nobody cares. Um, I'll be done. So, as you can see, FS2 is playing. It didn't kick me off the direct TV. We're in business. We're in business, baby. Nice little room. Quaint. Lovely. By the way, I also have two game rooms by me. How about that? A pool table. A pool table. If anybody was here, I would be hustling you in pool. And a pinball machine in this room. That's a good cool clock then of course we also have a foosball table shuffleboard not shuffleboard 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 damn it uh, i got myself there and a multi cade the like pac-man galaga frogger 412 game mm -hmm. well then I'm gonna have some fun with this. I might be playing that for a second, I don't know. With that being said, yeah, that's my level. And also the hot tub is straight out here. Boom, perfect. And there's actually checkers. I wish it was chess, but you know, checkers will have to do. And then of course, we have the kitchen and living room set up up here. Maybe I'll do the TFC game tomorrow up here. Who knows? Maybe. Definitely probably do the MRE review out there on the top deck, but this is pretty cool. Nice little kitchenette. Oh, a half a Keurig with a carafe. There you go. But yeah, pretty interesting. I like, I like, and it has a washer dryer too, and a whirlpool tub up in there, but, you know, cool stuff. So, yeah, we're here. The stuff that I can use, there you go. Maybe I'll play a round of golf, of not golf, pool, before the football starts. The football that actually matters, and the one I actually do. Well, we'll see how these progress for CONCACAF. And I got to get my clothes out and stuff. So we'll also do that as well. But yeah. So interesting stuff. 
and I'll talk to y'all later. Probably before the Gold Cup prelims. Or when I eat something, I don't know. But yeah, finally here. Hopefully we get back quicker than we got here because, you know, TFC Gold Cup on Saturday. But we'll figure, we'll figure this out. So I'll talk to y'all later. Still got more to say. Talk to you soon. You can see I got the little caddy corner set up here for the stream. Should be interesting. At least for tonight, if not for as well Wednesday night. And I'll try to do the RSRs out on the deck. If not, the MRE review and the Gold Cup predictions. But yeah, this is set up. Looks good. And I may have to push the stream back slightly, but we will be doing St. Kitts versus... Or I could do half of the uh, the second prelim. I don't know. We'll see. I think that may be how it plays out, but I'll think about it. With that being said, that needs to happen. It will. And I'm still getting it done. Trust me. So I'll talk to you all again. Of course, the stream will be up and all sorts of things. The play... The next 45 of Guadalupe versus Guyana. And Guadalupe's playing a good game. They're leading. And Rot and Fleet look like they'll go into Canada's group at the Gold Cup. They have 45 minutes to finish that off. But with that being said, it'll be interesting to see exactly how that match turns out. If I don't go live for the second half of Puerto Rico versus the Puerto Rico match, the Puerto Rico Martinique match, there we go. I'll tell you about that before I pop on for the third, but should be a interesting final day of prelims. Looks like Guadalupe will be in Canada's group at the Gold Cup. Gold Cup predictions on Friday. With that being said, still being able to watch this football is nice. It all worked out. Love it. The results just finished for the first match of round two of the prelims. Guadalupe beats Guyana 2-0 to join Canada's group in the Gold Cup. Group D with Cuba and Guatemala. Guadalupe, Canada, Cuba, Guatemala. I'm good with it. <laughs> I'm good with it. I mean, either way, yeah, Canada's roster is a bit weak. I think they'll easily win that group pretty much by default. The Guatemala game might be a bit harder, but I think they can handle. It's the knockouts that might be testing. But but they'll beat Guadalupe. They'll beat Cuba, I think. But that that's for predictions. What I will say, Guadalupe, good team. Since Trinidad got pulled out of the group to go up to Group A, I felt, yeah, it's probably likely that <laughs> it's going to be Guadalupe. And it was. It was Guadalupe. With, of course, Granada and Guyana. They were good teams, but it, it was pretty even. Guadalupe back in the Gold Cup once again, so props to Guadalupe. Props to the Guadalupians. Good team. Can't wait to see them play. Will be the first game against Canada at BMO Field in that group, which is the only games I'm covering in that group is Canada's because, well, that's how we do. That's what we do. So, you'd love to see it when it comes to that. So, you'd love to see it. With that being said, we'll be watching Martinique versus Puerto Rico. The winner of that joins Group C with... El Salvador, Panama, Costa Rica. The pretty even group. I'm not saying Martinique or Puerto Rico will do anything in that group, but it will be very interesting. I'll watch a bit of it, and probably during the second half I'll be cooking some mac and cheese. and I may eat on stream. I mean, I may have to eat on stream. So, Sitting with a bowl watching a football match. It'll be interesting. Maybe. So, we'll be pushing on. We'll be pushing on. 
With that, sit tight, talk to you later. Maybe I'll show you. Guinness Mac and Cheese. I saw that Kroger on Instacart. I'm like, I need this. It'll be interesting. It's mac and cheese, though. How bad could it be? How bad could it possibly be? You know, how bad could it possibly be? If it is a pot, it is what it is. If it is microwavable, better for me. Probably won't be eating on camera. Because it's said about 9.15. So, I've been rambling on here, but it is what it is. Boom. Maybe a piece of pizza, too. Who knows? Maybe. But Puerto Rico, Martinique's about to start. And I do have the iPad ready for stats and lineups as well. Had to go in through the back end because it's an older iPad, like an iPad 2 or something, or Mini 1, 2. It's early Mini. But because CONCACAF's website is so Flash, I guess, that still was when Flash wasn't really accepted or the CONCACAF website's so new. But I got in through the back end for the game center, the lineups and stats. So... That's good there. I'll see if Fop Mob works or the MLS website works for TFC tomorrow if I'm down here. Might as well do the same thing if I'm up there anyway instead of using the laptop. But, again, enough of me rambling. Talk to you later. Hopefully a little bit about Puerto Rico versus Martinique if I can. Or I'll talk about it on stream because I still am streaming. Midnight, baby. <laughs> this is going to take a little bit, you know. It's going to take a little bit, but such is life in the CONCACAF region. Especially when they're playing in Miami in July, or June, I should say. In June, in the afternoon, when it's going to rain. Mr. Tropics knew that already. They got lucky the first day, didn't have any rain. Don't do this again, CONCACAF. For prelims, of course. Hopefully, when they actually build a stadium, they would stop because, you know, Draft Pink Stadium is basically a temporary stadium. Lockhart. Uh, the ge regenesis of Lockhart, yeah. So, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I'm rambling. I don't care. So, there you go. Now, talk to you later. So, we're watching the ending of Martinique versus Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico are down to man Martinique. Oh, past the post. Right about to go live for St. Kitts versus French Guiana. The final prelim. About to see where the last, or the, who will be the 15th team to qualify for Gold Cup and make the field only 17 teams left with a chance at winning the Gold Cup. Five minutes of stop time for Martinique, Puerto Rico, but I'm not going to keep this vlog snippet going that long. I think Martinique up a man. Yeah, they should they should hold on to play El Salvador and Panama and Costa Rica. Puerto Rico had a good run, but I don't think it's going to keep on going. I think they're going to get eliminated and be the second-to-last team eliminated before the proper tournament. <laughs> of course. Of course, 15 of the 16 get eliminated, of course, but you know how it works, but pre tournament, of course. We'll find out, though. I might be wrong, depending on how this thing turns. So I'll talk to you all later. I'll see you after the match. Well, the RSR will be up, but of course, you know, we'll see you after the match in two way shapes or forms. Either way, clip for the vlog after and as it's uploading. And then, yeah. So here's how the day ends. By the way, that Guinness mac and cheese was, it was sour. There was a sour taste to it. I liked it, but of course, you know, got a little bit full and of course, time constraints, but. I would eat it again. Probably, uh, combat that sourness with a little bit more water. I think I would save some pasta water to make the cheese sauce 
instead of just draining it all. But what could you do? So seven out of ten. Six and a half, seven. If I did that, it'd probably be a seven, seven and a half. It's not perfect. It's not horrible, but I'd like to try it again. Maybe I will at some point. With that being said, now I'll see you for the stream and then I'll talk to you all in a while. So sit tight and enjoy. So I just got done recording the RSR for the St. Kitts and French Guiana game. I'm going to wash up and be done with the day after as I'm uploading and all that. But again, that's my first day here at Seaverville. Fun day, cool day, enjoyable. Nice little cabin here. Good day. We had a good day. So I hope you enjoyed seeing how I enjoyed my first day on the morning of my second. Yeah, that's a little bit of a, yeah, I'm uploading this later nod, but you know, who cares? But again, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you like it. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification you want to subscribe, send super chats on the live streams, comment on this video, put us a play, share friends and family, all that great stuff. I'll just see you later on Wednesday, Wednesday night for a live watch along and review of FC Cincinnati versus Toronto FC and an MRE review live on Thursday afternoon. So that's what you got. Some differences, but some normalcy. So I'll see you later. Talk to you soon. And... Have a great Wednesday, and I'll see you Wednesday night. Peace.